Hello, it's me, Al. I'm a full-time illustrator, and I thought I could show you my studio space today. So to just start off showing you my studio, I want to start with like my general kind of workspace. So I kind of work between these two tables and the side of the room. This is just a room in my house um, that we've just decided is my studio. In the next four to six years, I'd like to get a larger kind of painting studio, but this is kind of what I'm working with for now. So just starting from left to right, this is my kind of like scanner print station where I print labels and I scan my sketchbooks and leave shit around that shouldn't be left out. Um, I have a planner because I have the memory of a goldfish and then it connects kind of directly to my computer desk but I keep like doodling supplies and my iPad is usually here. Um, I need to get a better stand, but I can kind of just, oops. I need to get a better stand, but the case itself is kind of its own stand. It's not great, but you know, it is what it is. I don't use it too much for final work, even though maybe I should. So I'll do stuff like sketch and check emails and do digital work and edit here. I have my cheap blue yeti microphone that doesn't sound very good but i don't want to invest in a ton of supplies so yeah i'll kind of sit here doodle sometimes i keep my old sketchbooks here to reference i really just need to put them away though i like to put my own art on the walls i used to put a bunch of other artists stuff on the wall and i have like one thing there for someone else's work but um i try to just keep my own work on the walls because it is more inspiring than it is I guess it's so I can feel inspired by my own work and feel like my own energy is in the room instead of having other people's work because I get really in my head about how other people's work looks and get too focused on their styles and their whatever and I get kind of down on myself really easily so just having my own work is like oh yeah I am an okay artist and this stuff's cool and it kind of just kind of surrounds me in my own good energy. So here is my messy painting table. This is where I kind of repurpose it depending on what I'm doing. So whenever I'm doing oil painting, I'll pull it out like it is now and I'll set up all of my oil painting stuff here on the corner and I'll just paint from there. It's not ideal. It honestly kind of hurts my back, but with the space I have, this is what works for me for now. This is where I'll oil paint. And whenever I'm not oil painting, I'll just push this table back and I'll put this stuff away and I'll, I'll clear the center part off so I can do watercoloring or sketching. But I kind of like this table is multi-purpose. Um, I set my iPad up there sometimes if I want to watch a show while I'm painting. Got my cute little paper towel holder frog here for when I watercolor. And I have a nice view of the pasture from my window. I also keep a hair dryer here for convenience because with watercolors, I hate waiting for dry time. So if I have everything where I want it, I'll just dry it really quick instead of sitting there waiting for it to dry. So if you're a watercolor artist, hair dryer is your friend. And I've got some lighting and filming stuff for this YouTube social media garbage thing that we have to do. I'm not using this camera right now because I get really frustrated with DSLRs. I don't understand them. Like I was trying to use that for this video, but I would like look around the room and this window would just freak it out. So it's like I couldn't make it to where I could get a full picture of the room without this camera tweaking. So I'm just using my phone because it's way easier. So now I'm gonna move on to like my storage space in my studio. So I keep my flat file here. Store stuff like my printing paper plus my watercolor paper and any like random prints and stuff I don't know what to do with. I also keep my shipping supplies that'll fit in here. This isn't really an efficient use of the flat file, but it's just, it works for now for what I have. I think it'd be better in like a cabinet. And yeah, more packing supplies. I use stuff like plastic covers for prints, especially when I mail, you can never trust like the mail people if it's gonna like be left out in the rain or anything. And then I sometimes save like paper from other packages. Like I think this came with like a jacket I ordered and I thought that'd be nice to like ship something in that one day. And then I keep like products and stuff in one of these. This is my leftover prints and my stickers and um, old comics and books. A lot of this is gonna be gone, but anyway. And then I'll keep my original paintings here at the bottom. A lot of them are unfinished, so you can get like a little peek at my unfinished work. There's a cat. There's just a drawing of something I never ended up painting. Here's a cow that I actually liked quite a bit, but just never 
finished painting. It's another unfinished drawing. Here's an unfinished cow lady. Un mostly finished, but totally unfinished dog. And here's just an elements sheet. Yeah, I probably have a ton of unfinished drawings in here that if I looked at, I'd be like, oh, I should finish that, and then I never will, so. So I keep my original paintings, just keeps them out of the way of damage and water. It's kind of messy right now. I need to hang up that taxidermy and I have all my hanging supplies and stuff. And then of course we have the Yeehaw Feel, one of my favorite Pokemon. And then above is some shelving I built myself to just store like my craft supplies and miscellaneous packaging stuff. I also have a space where the cats sometimes jump up and take a nap on. So on this shelf, I just have like my scale and some mailing stuff and stamps and then some packaging things that wouldn't fit in the flat file. Next is just like miscellaneous art supplies and toolbox of things I don't use very often, which honestly a lot of it, I should just throw it away. There's my cutter thing. It's not super accurate, but it's good enough for whenever I just wanna get something cut really quick. And this is my ADHD craft supplies shelf where it has like fabric and wood and rope and clay stuff and glazes. And I have wood cutting stuff and safety gloves and just all the stuff where you're like, yeah, that sounds like fun. I'm gonna do wood burning now. And then you buy all the stuff and you just put it away. This is like a storage slash junk corner as well. This is just kind of all of my, which actually this isn't junk. This is like all the drawing markers and stuff. Sometimes I'll cycle out what markers and things I have on my desk and like extra ink. And this is like a travel set of sketchbook stuff. And then this is just general storage, like camera and ink and like wires. Here's a Halloween costume someone left at my house. And then we just have kind of the miscellaneous stuff in my studio that doesn't really serve an artistic purpose, but this is just like decorative and this is like frog supplies. And this is my studio pet. She is a toad. I've had her for, gosh, probably three or four years. And she's just hanging out in her little squash hut. That's where she usually is but she's in something called a bioactive tank. So all of the plants and things are real and growing and alive. If we lift up some wood, we're most likely gonna find some isopods. So you can see there's little isopods. So they live in here. They've lived in here the whole time. I look occasionally to see if they've died off and nope, they're still trucking, multiplying, have their own little kingdom. There's also something called springtails in here but um, they basically just eat all of her waste and keep everything clean. So I'll put them back where they were. But basically this uh, tank has been self-sufficient for the whole time I've had her. These plants have been in here pretty much the whole time. I've never had to clean this tank ever. It smells really nice and earthy. Also her name is Truffle, if you're curious. And we'll do an obligatory uh, I'll feed her because I feel like it's really interesting. People like to watch me feed her. It's just interesting to watch her eat. She's like super excited to eat right now. Oh, yep, there it goes. And over here is just kind of a chill zone. Sometimes I'll just sit and read or something. Um, the dogs like to chill here. I'm gonna have the dog beds in the studio. So yeah, they're just happy to hang out and be here. And here's my bookshelf for all of my bookshelving needs. Up here we've got Kelso and another Kelso, my little shrine to Kelso. This is just like a bottle of Daniels I got at the distillery that has my cat's name on it because he's named after Jack Daniels. And of course Appleton, my another one of my favorite Pokemon. 
you know, just book stuff, various books. I like to organize it by like art related books and then just, you know, general books. Maybe I'll do like a book tour, things I recommend for artists or whatever. So yeah, that's the gist of my studio. Um, it's just a room, so there's not much to show. I feel like, um, I mean, I could go more in depth about my supplies or what books I have or other things. Um, I appreciate everyone's patience and like just all of the nice comments everyone's been leaving. I think that's been really nice. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed getting a peek at my studio. Uh, thanks again and I'll see you in a different scenario. Hope you enjoyed my face, bye.